What is up YouTube, XX Solutions here, and today I am bringing you another video, and this is on how to use the ELF loader for your PlayStation 4 console on 176 firmware locally from your PC. So if you're like me and you have a PlayStation 4 console that's running firmware version 1.76, you'll know that the ELF loader can be quite temperamental. Now the ELF loader is very handy indeed, and it allows you to send files and payloads through the loader so that you can access certain features on your PlayStation 4 console. However, if you're like me, and you use the playground to run the elf loader you'll know that a lot of people out there get the out of memory error now this is quite common and i've read a few things online and i also got help in the playstation 4 community and that was to run the elf loader locally on your pc so that's exactly what i did and it works completely fine without any errors whatsoever so i'm going to show you exactly how to set it up now it's pretty easy and there's going to be two main things that you'll be needing i will link everything in the description below so be sure to go ahead and download it first thing we're going to need is node.js now node.js is a javascript runtime that allows you to use a certain feature that will be accessing later so be sure to download this you can use the current or you can use the recommended i believe i installed the recommended it's a very easy setup process download it and install it and we can move on to the next step so the next thing we're going to want to do is download the elf loader now this elf loader is being updated quite frequently as you can see it was modified two days ago so that's pretty cool indeed so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little green button and we're going to download zip save it to your desired location i'm going to use my desktop and now all we want to do is simply extract the raw file once you've extracted it you'll see a folder now if we go inside here you'll see another folder simply double click on this and you'll see a bunch of files now this does look quite confusing at first glance but it's really not because everything is set up for us normally you'd have to use linux to make the files and access everything inside of these directories but it's already made for us so all you're going to want to do is head over to the local folder and you'll see a java script file in here called server now we're going to be using this to directly load the elf loader so what we're going to do now is we're going to open command prompt so simply type in cmd on your computer open it and we're going to type in ipconfig the next thing we're going to look for is our ipv4 address which is our local ip address to this machine so my ipv4 address ends in 0.26 so now what we're going to do is click on the bar up top over here type in cmd and then hit space for the directory that we're locating hit enter and it will open command prompt in this directory. Now all we're going to want to do now is we're going to type in node space server.js. That is literally all you're going to want to do and you're going to want to hit enter. Now what it's done now is it's simply running from 5350 port and locally serving on our local machine. So all you're going to want to do is leave that running until you've completely finished with the elf loader. So we can just go ahead and minimize this as we don't really need to do anything much in here until we close it. Be sure to remember that the port is 5350. Now we're on our console all you're going to want to do is open the internet browser and go to to the very top to type in a url now what we're going to do here is delete everything we have and type in http colon forward slash forward slash this will not work if you just type in our local ip and the port number you will probably get an error message i've tried many times so you have to have the http colon forward slash so make sure you have that and then simply type in the local ip address of our machine that we noted down earlier and mine ends in 0.26 the next thing you're going to want to do is type in colon and then the port number we also noted down which is 5350 now that is literally it now all you want to do is hit go and as you can see it just loaded to stage 5 up here so that is successfully loaded without any errors whatsoever so just to show you that this does work I'm going to send a random payload to my console so that you can see what happens as you can see there are no error messages on our console whatsoever and it didn't error using the Linux commands either so we know that it's completely been sent so all we can do from here is simply press the PlayStation button and we can access whatever we want after executing the payload now obviously if you are finished with the elf loader we can simply go ahead and close this and when you try and access the ip address and port it will no longer be available to you so that is pretty much it guys a very simple way to host the elf loader on your computer and access it from your playstation 4 i hope you've enjoyed this video comment rate subscribe and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one peace